Today, I would like to explain about CAD and CAM introduction and its application in the manufacturing field and design field. So, first basic thing is we should know the definition of CAD and CAM. CAD and CAM. But most of the students say that what is the definition of CAD means that simply says that computer aided design and computer aided manufacturing. But that is a wrong definition. In case of how you are supposed to define is the application of computers in design field. Okay, you are just applying the computers in design field. Simple definition, no need to read a very, very big definitions. You can just simply say that application of computers in design field is called as computer aided design. Coming to manufacturing, the same application of computers in manufacturing. Okay, so this is the basic differences between CAD and as well as CAM. So, CAM means com application of computers in design, CAM means application of computers in manufacturing. So, first basic thing is as we are an engineer, we should know that how the product is being manufactured and how the product is coming into the market. So, the basic foremost step is being as an engineer, we should think that is our product whatever we get into the market is useful to the people or not. So, based on the necessity of the people, we should analyze that that particular product is necessary for the human being. So, that is called as need forecast. Okay. So, coming to product life cycle, we should what it does mean the, what does it mean by product life cycle? It means that from the raw material to the final stage where the customers receive the product. So, this as you are seeing this whole product life cycle flow chart, you can see that where design is applicable and manufacturing is applicable. So, first thing is as I said need, need of the particular product is very important. The next stage is design. How do we design? Previously in olden days, we used to take only the drafting sheets. As we are all engineers in first year drawing, what, what do you do? You take and drawing sheets go to the lab and sit and draft the drawing like uh, isometric views, uh, orthographical views. This all you do respective in the case of design. But what the design we have been drafted cannot be saying that it is an approved design. Can we being as an engineer, we cannot produce all the efficient draftings for the particular product. So, we should evaluate ourselves. When we evaluate ourselves, the product will be sustainable in the market. Okay. So, once the design is being drafted uh, with the documentation part, we should go for analysis. What does this analysis? In designing, you have both 2D and as well as 3D. Okay. So, in 2D, what do we do? Exactly, we get the outline of the object, but we cannot view the exact view. View of the product. View of the product is only seen by using 3D software. How does the prototype look like? Why do we do design? Instead of doing prototyping and testing, we can simply go for design so that it will save the raw material cost. Okay, even the testing cost also will be reduced. So, once the design is being finalized, we should evaluate the design in the process of analysis. For this analysis, we have various analysis constraints. Okay, if we are taking a prototype, manufactured prototype and if apply some loads, what is happening? Just the product is being wasted. In spite of doing prototypes and all, we can simply use some analysis softwares where we can see the stress and strain of the component, whether it is sustaining the loads, temperatures, okay, to the constraints. So, here coming to analysis, we can use by ANSYS software, where we can apply the material in the software itself and we can test whether our design is going to be sustainable or not. Once the design is sustainable and it is perfect, we go for the process planning stage. If it has been rejected, again we send the drafting sheets or we change the material or we have to change the design. So, it is vice versa. Okay. Once the design is finalized, going for analysis, then we approve the design. If analysis, our design is failed, again we are supposed to go for designing. 
So, once the analysis is being approved, the next stage will be the process planning. What does this process planning, can we directly go for manufacturing? No, we cannot go. Why, why? Because being as a mechanical engineer, when we work under any shop floor control or any industry, we should look that all the machinery are available for that particular product or not. Okay. So, in process planning, what do we do exactly is, we procure the raw material. We procure the raw material in process planning and we order the NC tools. Okay. We order the NC tools. Why are this very, very important? Every tool is important for manufacturing. Like raw material is important, machinery is important, like as us 4M. Okay. We should check the 4M that is men, machine, man and material. This will be coming under process planning. Once this process planning is being finalized, next only we go for production. Where, what is production? Simply producing the goods. But what happens if you produce the goods? Can all the products be 100% efficient and with 100% quality? No. Every product has some minor defect or the major defect. Why? Because if the products are being manufactured by human, human makes some errors. In coming to CNC, sometimes due to machine down machine down cuts and all even machine also does some mistakes so we cannot say that all the produced goods are 100 percent of quality and certified so most of the engineers like quality supervisors or quality inspectors are being hired here that means all the produced goods are will undergo some quality control checks so once this control quality control check is being finalized that means if we take the 100 components, if we take 100 components per box, okay, what does the quality inspector do? He randomly picks 3 to 5. He randomly picks 3 to 5. If they are being approved with no defect, then the whole box is being certified by the quality inspector. What happens if they are not qualified? Again, they go, they send back to the production stage. As I said, if design is wrong, analysis is wrong, again it goes back to the design stage. If products are being defected, again it has to go to the production. Okay. So, the next, once the qualified goods are being produced, what is the next step? Packaging. What is mean by packaging? Packaging means without the defect free. Means if, if you look like example like Amazon and Flipkart, why do they pack more and more? Why? Because the product should not get damaged. So, that is why packing, packing will should happen very carefully. The next is shipping. What is meant by shipping? Shipping is they send the loads or the products to the retailers and the wholesalers. Next comes to the market, marketing. Once the marketing does, consumers, okay, consumers. So, what happened exactly? Who are the consumers or the customers? Once the product is being into the market, customers buys or the consumers who consume our product. But there is a special team called as feedback team or marketing team. They take the feedback from the customers and they ask whether it is suiting our product or not. Then if a product is being defective in the consumers in the present market, again we are going to do the changes in the design. Why? Because you have seen a basic example, Samsung 1100, I think so, Nokia phones also. They are being banned. Why? Because most of the customers are not being satisfied by using those phones. So, as a trend or as a day by day keeps on going, the even the products coming into the market also comes very newly. So, customer will never satisfy. He wants always some or the other change. So, this is a completely a product life cycle which goes on with respect to the customers. And where we can apply this CAD and CAM? These computers are applied. That is, this, this stage is called as CAD stage. And even this stage is CAPP. Where you can say is that process planning can be done by using computer aided. Okay, even the manufacturing, that means the production. Here it is CAM. Again, in quality control also can be checked by 
QAC. So, which means wherever we are applying the computers in design field, in process planning, manufacturing, quality control, what happens? We get the efficient products in the market with no defect. So, that is why CAD and CAM is very, very important and this product life cycle will be a cyclic process. Thank you.